It's called Growler. It's a five inch artillery shell. Ooh, ooh. Then we have our King Arthur and our Sir Lancelot. What I like about just hanging, it's got 25 shots It looks shots so adorable. It. Look at this little <laughs> monkey. You know, it's ironic to me, Doug, that you would have fireworks named Sir Lancelot and King Arthur when we're celebrating our independence from the British. Uh, this, this is true, but uh, I just sell them. I don't name them. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have Home of the Brave. There you go. Hell yeah. They have uh, a group of people up there in Pittsburgh, Kansas that uh, are coming up with names all the time. Pittsburgh, Kansas? Yes, that's where the main office is. They don't even know what state they're in, man. <laughs> what does Excalibur do? It's a three inch artillery shell. It goes roughly about 200 feet up in the air and it has an explosion of about 200 feet wide. Whoa. It's what we call our big boom. It like shakes the windows when That's it goes a good name. off. <laughs> so you have to educate yourself a little bit too. You've got to study these things, uh, maybe do some test runs, blow them up yourself. Oh, of course. And see what you, you happens. You've got to blow some up yourself. <laughs> if you don't blow them up yourself, you just don't enjoy uh, Yeah, what is enjoy all this for? Much. Exactly. Do you ever have people come up here that are angry at you because their neighbor shot off too many fireworks? Not really. They start out mad, but then when the show goes on, they're sitting out on the front porch enjoying, enjoying the show. People blur the lines a little bit and they start to shoot off fireworks on like Memorial Day or Father's Day, you know, Valentine's Day. We had an older lady that just loves fireworks. She comes in here every year. She buys two little items <laughs> for her birthday and she sets them off for herself. <laughs> I wanna to go to her party. Yeah, exactly. Nationally, I've seen some reports that people are having difficulty finding fireworks. What do you know about that? Having COVID put uh, a strain on getting product off the ships and everything, getting over here to us. Everybody's had that trouble in every business. But uh, we've been very fortunate, as you can see, we've been able to get a truck in and fill our stores back up. Things are getting better, it's just been slow.